Hello, I'm Ty Mason of the DiabetesCouncil.com, researcher, writer, and I have type 2 diabetes. Today I'm going to answer the question, is wheatgrass good for diabetes? But before we get into that, make sure you download my free diabetes management book, which also includes a diabetes grocery shopping guide, foods to eat and avoid, by clicking the link below. It seems like I get a lot of questions about wheat, and here's another one. This one concerns wheat grass. Well, what is wheat grass? Well, exactly what it sounds like. It's the young grass of wheat before it shoots up and produces grain. I was in New York this past summer and saw a place selling wheat grass juice as a health drink. It looked to me like the guy went around and gathered up yard clippings and put them in a blender with a little bit of water. Now, I asked a person who had a cup why she was paying that much for blended grass clippings, and she told me it made her feel refreshed and clean. She said this with green teeth. Now, I found some old home remedies that involved wheat grass. One was used to treat constipation. Another was a type of antibiotic. Yet another was a poultice for a snake bite. Now, there are several vitamins and minerals found in wheatgrass, which include vitamins A, E, C, K, and B6, calcium, selenium, magnesium, and iron. I found several reasons people use wheatgrass today. Most people find that leaves tough to digest, so they crush it and squeeze them to make juice. Wheatgrass leaves are also dried and made into tablets or capsules. I found a, quote, clinic where wheatgrass is mixed with mineral water and a few essential oils and used as an um, enema to cleanse the digestive system. Yet there are others who eat raw wheatgrass. They feel that cooking it destroys the natural enzymes that provide the health kick. But what can wheatgrass do for one with diabetes? Well, a study was conducted recently on a group with diabetes who were given wheatgrass as part of their diet in one meal. The GI index of some foods reduced quite significantly after wheatgrass was included in the diet. This was probably due to the enormous amount of fiber. According to those who use Chinese medicine, it is said that improper functioning of the kidneys can cause diabetic neuropathy. Wheatgrass is said to restore this imbalance, although there is no scientific study to prove the claim. So is wheatgrass good for diabetes? Well, I really can't see any benefit personally. There is no scientific evidence that wheatgrass does anything for the person with diabetes, specifically as it relates to the disease. Plus, many people who have tried it found that it gives them terrible headaches and even nausea. I hope this answered your question, is wheatgrass good or bad for diabetes? Don't forget to get your diabetes management book by clicking the link in the description box below. And as always, let me know if you have any other diabetes-related questions. And if you like our channel, please subscribe hit like on this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ty Mason.